course, we watched her grow up on Family Ties. Now she stars in Men Behaving Badly Wednesdays on the N Network. Justine Bateman. Hi, you gorgeous. All right, she is the executive director of the Council on Culture and Community, Heather Higgins. Hey, Mom. Don't get too close. I'll make you sick. Sorry. He is one of the best-known broadcast journalists of our time, the host of Rivera Live, of course, Geraldo Rivera. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. And, of course, a, a peerless comedy supermind, the dean of humor and satire, the star of HBO's The Larry Sanders Show, Jonathan Winters. No, Gary Shandling! Okay. Wow, wow, what a fan. Well, somebody bet me that I couldn't get through the first month on ABC without talking about O.J. Uh, it's the 31st, so I guess I lose that bet. <laughs> we have not, we've not done Is an O.J. Is this on ABC now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what will happen? Will that be bleep now? Of course. Because on your old show, you used to be able to swear and no, everything. No, we couldn't. <laughs> That's your show where you can swear. <laughs> That's right. I get them confused. Now, my... Bill, who's this? <laughs> That's the brilliant Heather Higgins. And, and she, she, what does she she's do? She's gonna make you look dumb. Okay. Now. Um. You're setting a very high bar <laughs> you, you here. Just, wow, <laughs> she appears to be starting already. Now. <laughs> she swears a lot. Now. Geraldo, swear, come on, don't make me look like a fool. <laughs> my first question. OJ. My, <laughs> Now, you said you're going to retire if, he, if he's found uh, innocent right. again. That, right. that could be considered jury but you tampering. Didn't, you didn't jury <laughs> <laughs> and Bill, And Bill, he didn't retire after he opened the Al Capone safe. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm going to win my bet. We're not going to talk about OJ, but I'm going to get thrown off the air if you don't <laughs> shut up. Now, the first question I wanted to ask is, I don't understand why they're having this trial in the first place. Maybe you could help me out with this. But, I mean, it seems like if a guy is tried once the, for murder and, and then is acquitted, whatever, right or wrong, I mean, this is so maudlin that now we're putting him on trial, and the worst that, you know, what's the message? That you get a stiff fine if you kill somebody. That's right, that's right. If he kills someone, he gets a stiff fine. What, I mean, what Most is Most people kill people, they go to jail. Simpson kills two people, and he gets a stiff fine, maybe if we're lucky. I don't understand why there's a trial at all, this second well, trial. actually, there's a long history of having uh, civil actions, which are different from criminal actions. Uh, the whole... But for murder, it's perverse. No, but it's, it's not actually, it's for wrongful death. It's not for murder. Oh. And, no, but there is a difference. The, the whole concept came about where you had a widow who was left or somebody well, where there's is, actual... What is rightful death? <laughs> <laughs> Me after Al Capone's wall. So. <laughs> What people forget is that criminal cases are, are crimes against the, are considered crimes against the public, which is why you have a state prosecutor. This is a private action. And what's interesting is it's actually not compensation for the life of the individual. It is compensation for harms of the traditional one is the earnings that are foregone earnings or pain and suffering, but you never, never have actual damages for the, for the life of Ron Goldman or Nicole Simpson, just as when the Germans re had repatriations to Israel after the war, it was not for the life of the Jews who were killed, it was for property. The theory being that, and this goes back through Western civilization, that I know this is not funny, but it's... No, but, <laughs> um, but it's the, making Gary look dumb, which is the point. <laughs> No, I, 
I very before, much but, appreciate but, someone explaining this. Before you had um, God pronounce in the Torah that there shall be a death penalty for all murders, the idea was that you could basically buy your way out of murder by paying enough money damages, and if the person was a lowly person, then but you didn't have to pay very much. That is a terrible message. That is a terrible message, and that is. Then why do we continue? But that is why we don't do damages for the actual life. You're you're getting pain and suffering for the Goldmans. But what's really going on right, here? They like figured out the value of the clothing. But couldn't they there? Have. But it, couldn't you life. have civil trials like all the time, all over the place? You know, people you saying, "Oh, okay." You, you have wrongful death charges. How come all there's not the more in our business? Because, because we don't pay attention in the to the entertainment because industry. Not <laughs> <laughs> you hurt my feelings. When and you also did that. because most murderers don't have enough money yeah, to there be are worth very going after. Millionaire them. murderers. That's why yeah. you don't have lawsuits. So, okay. but the, but the other thing that's happened is that basically this is a substitution of money for honor. In mm. the old days, Ron Goldman's father would have gone out and challenged O.J. to a duel. He might still. Is, he might still. <laughs> but he, he would have done it legally. Right. Okay. Well, I want to get. I want to take a break. We have to. When I want to go back, I want to talk about what happened today with the dismissed juror. We'll take a break. <laughs> We're talking about the O.J. case. Now, what happened today was that the, the lone black juror was dismissed, a 63-year-old black female. They dismissed her because her daughter is the secretary of a high-ranking official in the L.A. District Attorney's Office. Why didn't they know this before today? How but, long have they been, been into it? I, this trial's been six going six on. Six months. That's a long time. Six months is a long time to keep a secret, <laughs> because that essentially is what it is. I mean, it just seems like the system gets stupider and stupider. It is a stupid system. And, they, and people are, OK, so now well, there's. Yeah. What's yeah. bizarre to me is that this, this civil trial uh, jury is not sequestered. So they so watch my program every they night. They watch your program. <laughs> right. I know, of course, I'm totally unbiased. Your ratings have gone up. You got 11. Now they're cussing more because they're watching Gary's show, too. And they could be watching tonight. So that's why I just want to, if I could, if any of them are watching, yes. may I just take this moment to say that these, these are not Bruno Mali. <laughs> Videotape has been doctored, <laughs> and I am uh, I, I am a I'm wearing sneakers right now, actually. But they are ugly ass shoes. <laughs> they are ugly ass shoes. And they're the wrong size, so you're when saying. I wear them. But these, the, the these... tragedy is that this jury will render a verdict. Let's assume it's liable. The evidence certainly points in that direction. Not that that's any indication that the jury will be reasonable. But the jury, the jury's verdict will not be believed by anyone in the African American community. Right. This will be the white verdict that followed the black verdict. It will just add right. to the racial division in the country, just exacerbate the most grievous problem we have in our country, the one that Johnny Cochran so brilliantly exploited last time around. But the reality is, I think, that given that there's only one black juror on the jury anyway, and it's now there's none. But now there's none. Now there are but none. they would have argued anyway, because I believe all you need are nine to, to, to yes. convict. Um, so that if you get a decision that goes that way, those who would be inclined to view it in racial terms, in terms of assuming that's how people think, would have said anyway that, one, she was outvoted, or two, she was the only black person who would have favored the prosecution anyway because of her daughter's job. Or I mean, those who want to dismiss the verdict are going to dismiss it anyway and find an excuse whether well, she's there or not. Do you think, no, I don't think it's racist to believe he's guilty if you're white, but if, say you like... He would like us to believe Yes, he would. That. But if you, but excessive coverage of it, do you think that's racist? Why would it be? <laughs> it's a well, story, to be no. excessively interested this, in this it. This is a story like, that I is... I don't know, Charles Grodin or... <laughs> this is the, one of the biggest domestic stories yes. of the 20th century. It has to do with everything, with race, with the criminal justice system, with the difference between rich man's justice and poor man's justice, yes. celebrity justice. It has so much to do with who we are as a people. If you want to take your tack of reasoning, then what you would say is that the whole media system is, in fact, inherently racist in its outcome in that news tends to pay attention to those things which are unexpected. Rich people committing murders or having murders committed to them are more unexpected than right. poor people. Like John so therefore, Ramsey, it's right. an yes. affluent so, Boulder, Colorado family. So the or, poor yeah. person who gets murdered doesn't get nearly the press. Tupac Shakur has sort of vanished from the scene, whereas O.J. continues on and continues but on. And even Tupac, even Tupac is a celebrity, but if you wanted... <laughs> and O.J.'s alive. Well, but his wife <laughs> is dead. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes, that's a good point. Okay. Well, Bill, yes, sir. if I may, I, yes, I think may. here's a perfect uh, case of, of what I consider to be um, 
uh, reverse racism because they've been showing this uh, chase over and yes. over again the last couple of days because they had the videotape. It's just mm -hmm. stunning. Yes. And you know uh, uh, that I live in Brentwood, and yes. I, I make basically that same drive every day with a, uh, with a gun to my head, and no one gives a damn. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what yeah. is that about? <laughs> we have to take a break, break, and we'll be right back. <laughs>